All right, Squeals, give me that vehicle you're on. Well, okay, but I think you might regret it. <laughs> now I'm all powerful. Watch out, Squirrel. Here I come. Uh oh. On the table, Lego the Ninjago movie, set number 70632, Quake Mech. 1,202 pieces? This thing is gonna dwarf all the other vehicles. Good thing we only have five minifigures to worry about. On the back of the box, I have been pondering for months, how is this Quake Mech going to stand? With that one giant wheel, how, how, how? But it looks like if you look closely, there might be a stand. We shall see. And look at all these Quake speakers popping out the sides. This thing is 31 centimeters 12.2 inches tall and 30 centimeters 11.8 inches wide. Should look really good standing up against the fire mech. So many pieces! Inside the box, a Quake book of instructions. Bag of pieces one. That's two, not many in that one. A little more with three. How about four? And then we go to five, but we don't stop there. We go to six, then seven, and finally eight. Um, shouldn't there be a very large wheel in the package, you ask? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Buster. Oh, and there's the rim, too. I'm done for. Whoops, forgot the stickers. How careless of me. Bag number one, let's begin this quake of mech.
Now over here is a perfect location for the gazebo. I really like to entertain. Oh, and I see you have my new speaker system set up, skeleton contractor. Let's see here. <laughs> Skeleton Contractor! And we have constructed the Mighty Quake Mech. Put these guys back up here. Cole, that is a tremendously, awesomely huge vehicle. How's it going in there? It's going good. Nice scratching turntables. You haven't seen the half of it. Now we're ready to quake.
Holy cow, that is a lot of soundage. I'm starting to understand where those 1,200 pieces went. You've got some solid shoulders. So obviously the Quick Mech turned out to be a very awesome build. A very large and awesome build. Very technical too. Like all of these other Ninjago sets. Most importantly, I can finally rest easy at night. As I now can see how the Quake Mech can balance on one wheel. We have a nice little stand in the back and it's pretty low profile, it's not too much in the way. It has those little Lego cylinders on it so it kind of glides across the smooth surface pretty well and probably even a carpeted surface too. So that's kind of a cool feature, really like the enormous wheel and if you've noticed there is something seriously wrong with how I built it. Any guesses? I'll let you pause for a minute. That's right, I put the wheel on backwards. Going to have to fix that. I'm sure there's all sorts of balancing problems now. For a vehicle that is standing on just one wheel, it's amazingly balanced, and the articulation of the arms is really balanced as well. They've got these huge geared shoulder joints that were a lot of fun to build. They hold really strongly and don't rotate back. We also have rotation in the elbows too. And we've got fingers, three, and a thumb on each side. Of course we have these huge large speakers up top. There's speakers everywhere on this thing. And the four speakers hidden inside will eject out. And then we can close it back up for a pretty cool light show. Like many of the other Ninjago vehicle sets, we have some awesome flagging going on. We've got Quake, 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 and a bunch of gorillas here and there. Really makes for a monster of a vehicle. Minifigures included Mike the Spike, Crusher, Fred Finley, and Misako. Am I saying that right? I've only seen the movie once so far. And Cole here has one of the best cockpits of any of the Ninjago characters. He has a dual turntable control system going on that actually turn Pretend Scratch, that is one of the most clever and fun things I've built in a while. So this vehicle turned out incredibly fun to build. Took me a little longer than some of the others, yeah because it had 1,200 pieces and maybe because I got a flu shot and felt a little achy so it was kind of slow. I want to say the bulk of the extra pieces are up here in these shoulders and arms. As if we bring some more vehicles by. You can see it's not that much larger than the ice tank and the fire mech, which are each around 900 pieces. But it is your most heaviest vehicle and you can see that in those shoulders. Amazing how tiny the ice tank all of a sudden looks. However, the ice tank has a lot of pieces built into those treads and wing panels. And a quick side by side with Nia's water strider and the green ninja mech dragon. And not to forget Jay, the lightning jet. That lightning jet takes up a lot of extra space too with all those antennas. I need to find a bigger table if I want to show these all off at once. They're really quite spectacular all together. Funny how I was never really planning on picking these all up. Started with the green mech dragon and one thing led to another. So if you're looking for an amazing, quite hefty construction like hauling, sound blasting, one wheel crushing vehicle construction set, Cole's Quake Mech is the one to get. Landry! Woo! Okay, follow me! Lego The Ninjago Movie Quake Mech arrives on stores December 1st, 2017. It runs around 90, one of the most expensive Ninjago vehicles, but it holds the most pieces and the most speakers. If you're looking for that rip-roaring record-scratching vehicle of all time, Look no further than Cole's Quake Mech. However, if you're into more easy listening and quiet seashell sounds, perhaps Shimmer and Shine Mega Blocks are more your type. Give your Quake lots of mech. That's what I have to say about that. The legendary Quake Squirrel eats five bowls of nuts for breakfast. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe.
save the day.